welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shaza, and I'm here today with me, Sara. Hey guys, <laughs> Sara's here with me today. That's how you know it's gonna be a good day, a good video, good everything. Finally, you she's guys gonna, are gonna enjoy she's this. She's gonna glow on my channel. Now my channel got so much better now that she's here. Oh my God, stop! You're too cute. Okay. Your channel's almost perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some Krispy Kreme donuts. We thought we'd do like a donut mukbang and then just chat with you guys. You know, what's the tea, what's the shamar and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're just going to film a video and just talk. I mean, hopefully you guys it's um, be like, don't get bored and yeah. like close the video. But <laughs> let's get it. So going to get into it. Same. Let's start with the maple. I'm gonna start with the original glaze. I don't know if you guys can see Classic. <laughs> I'm such a messy eater. Same. I'm gonna watch this vid when I'm editing and I'm gonna be like, ew. <laughs> Why can't I be normal? I feel you. So there is this um, game that my sister told me about. It's called um, Mentally Stimulate Me. It has, it has like, it's, I think it's meant for like a first date. Like mm -hmm. you play it with, your, with the guy that, um, you're on a date with. And it helps you like understand how they think. For example, there's this question okay. about a relationship. It's relationship questions. So there's this question that was, um, uh, you've been with your fiance for five years. It's the day of your wedding. They confessed to you that within the first month of you guys dating, they cheated on you, but never again after. Oh my god. What would you do? A, would you call off the wedding, call off the relationship? B, call off the wedding, but not the relationship? Or C, thank them for being honest and move on with the wedding? I think I would, I would move on. Mm -hmm. Because if they did it, okay, if they did it within the month of the relationship, and they never did it again. Mm -hmm. It's been five years. Mm -hmm. We have the wedding planned. We invited people. Mm -hmm. Like, especially in their community, like, you know, it would generate too much talk. So I would just keep it low key. Be like, okay, this is between me and you. Just like, don't embarrass me. Mm -hmm. And just move on with the wedding and just like keep an eye out, I guess. Because, like. Thank you! <laughs> Same answer! <laughs> um, see, for me, Ideally, because I take cheating very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I would call off the wedding, but not the relationship. But because I'm not Sudanese, <laughs> so realistically, I would obviously thank them for being honest and move on. Because you know, my parents are not gonna be like, no, they're, they're mm -hmm. gonna be like, of course you can't call the wedding. You know, we spent money, and like you said, we invited people, and people are gonna talk. And you know, our parents wouldn't want that. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, realistically, I would thank them for being honest. And just move on. Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. Mm -mm. But um, it's a really cool game. That sounds like a fun game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You know if there are any, let you know if there are any red flags in a relationship before getting into the relationship. Okay, I know this is a very basic question. Okay, but do you guys think? Guys and girls can be friends with no feelings attached, ever. Yep. This one's living proof. <laughs> Actually, debatable. No. Debatable. <laughs> it's not that it's debatable, but the feelings come from their side, not my side. No, no, no. I'm talking about like no feelings whatsoever. Because Just don't mutual you friends. Yeah. Just like, yes. no feelings from him, no feelings from you. Yes. Really? It's possible. It's just rare. Yeah. Mm. Do you see yourself marrying someone who's not Sudanese? Yep. <laughs> that is actually a very good question. There are days where I'm like, yes, I just want to marry a Sudanese man because it's just so much easier because they understand the culture and they understand like like all the little things, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Things that you can like laugh about or things you can relate to. Mm -hmm. But then there are days where I'm just like, maybe I don't want that, you know? Maybe I want something different, like what he's telling me about something different and I'm talking about something different. Where it has similarities, but it also has like differences. Yeah, right? Like, you know so what I mean? I'm just kind of like, yeah, like if I like them and like we vibe really well and everything, then yeah, probably. I don't think I could. But my first choice would be Sudanese, though. Mm -hmm. 
Liar. As much as I hate them. <laughs> you would marry John Hamm. Oh yeah, I would. Oh, yeah. Cause it's John <laughs> Chris <laughs> Evans. Hamm. Yeah, cause it's Chris Evans. But not some nobody <laughs> that I don't know not. Not a successful wife. Chris it? Evans? Thank you, yes. He can get it. He can get it. I don't even need to get to know you. Let's go arrange <laughs> marriage. <laughs> But um, I I don't think I could. No, I um, I want my child to like see us talk Sudanese every day and like learn our culture mm -hmm. and our food. Cause like I feel like I won't get to make like Sudanese food for my man if he wasn't Sudanese. Mm -hmm. I feel like they won't like it. It's weird and stuff. And you know I can't speak Sudanese. So then around our kids, I won't be speaking Sudanese. Okay. Like I don't know. I guess I don't think I could. This one's a little bit controversial. It might sound a little bit rude, maybe, okay. for some people. Yeah. Okay. Sensitive. Anyways. <clears throat> Do you see yourself marrying a Sudanese man who doesn't have a passport? Oh, yeah. Like... Wait, wait, wait. What kind of passport? Like, the Sudanese passport. Like, like say you, both of you guys want to go to, I don't know, Paris, right? Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, babe, I have to apply for my visa. That's but fine. you don't need a visa. Mm -hmm. So no. you're saying no. No, no, I'll wait. You're saying yeah. Okay. I'll wait because you know what? Eventually he can get the passport from me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, um, would you guys do a, a, uh, traditional Sudanese wedding? Yes. Yeah, I think I would too. Yo, I'm trying to do a Rogi Sarus. Oh yeah. my god, Rogi Sarus. Oh, uh, my Rogi Sarus would be so bomb. Same. Wow. My mom's literally going to be like, when did I raise such a hoe? I know, my mom's <laughs> going to be like, uh. We're like, oh, what if she does? Da, 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 da. <laughs> like, where'd you okay. go? I think I would want a fairy tale wedding. Now that I think about it, like, obviously I want it to be like Sudan with the jifting and the or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then, like the actual wedding and that when I come in, we and I want it to be like so beautiful and fairy tale like. Would you rather have a big nice fairy tale wedding like you just described because mm -hmm. all of that stuff obviously is expensive like it's not cheap like having a big like fairy tale wedding mm -hmm. and a short honeymoon okay short like short like let's say you go for like a week and a half and like you go to some place and all that because you spend most of the money on the wedding a typical amount of days no what for a honeymoon no it's like two weeks two and a half week and a half is not bad really ten days you don't need to go for 10 days? Yeah, you don't need to spend that much time in a country. No, Shit. maybe go in a different country. <laughs> Shut up! Yes! That's Shad. what I want! <laughs> Who's gonna afford that? Shut Month! <laughs> See, I need to get with a man who can afford that month. I'd rather have both. Like, I don't know. I, I'm gonna work towards Fair having enough. both. Yeah. But if, well, if, if I can, then we'll see when it comes down to it, right? <laughs> I, um, just, I don't know. I think my friend is the wedding. I don't know what I want to say. I actually want to say something. Would you guys ever date a broke man? Honestly. Broke how? Like, define broke. Like, on the streets? <laughs> no. Probably someone who's struggling financially because they keep making reckless deci decisions and spending every night and all that. Yeah, and also, on top of that, no ambition. None. Okay, no. Like, like they always complain about their job. That's not what they want to do, though. But they don't have any, like, goals or, like, plans or anything. No ambition. No way. So, like, would you guys be able to do that? No, because... Yeah. No, I can't go into a relationship or, like, a commitment like that with such... Like, it's like a... It's a heavy load. Yeah. Because, like, I'm going to be, de like, he's going to be depending on me. It's basically like raising a child, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I'm not supposed to be raising a child. I'm supposed to be, like, growing with a man. Growing with you know? someone who builds you. Yeah, yeah, like, no. Yeah. Hell no, no way. That's what I forget. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Next question. Mm -hmm. How do you guys feel about long-distance relationships? Yay, nay. Would you make it work? Is it worth it? What do y'all think? I would like to make it work, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to. Long-distance for me is hard and also it depends where they live for example if they live in Sudan like with the time difference it's gonna be so frustrating you know they're working I'm working you know it's like it's gonna be really hard mm -hmm. um, and I'd actually like to be with the person like in person <laughs> you know like I, I love quality time have you ever guys have you guys ever done the um, 
love language test. Mm, yeah, I did it the other day actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. I uh, my top one was quality time. So for me, I guess like quality time is so important. I'd rather spend time with you. So long distance for me is hard. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I'd be able to do it if they could be able to do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I feel like if both of us were able to like work on it then mm -hmm. and then if we meet the thing is i would do long distance if i need like if like i know what the end of our relationship was guaranteed you yeah know? like if i knew we were gonna get married then i would just do long distance because i know it's temporary right but and then at the end we're gonna get married right but how will you know you're gonna get married right the point is well like no it's like no say say you like go and like you guys travel and meet each other and stuff mm. like that like after that and you just True. like, okay, I know when you get married to this person, then I'll But continue. it all depends on them, right? It all depends on them. You guys have a tsunami passport? You can't see them. Nah. Go to tsunami, nah. right? Yeah. So that makes it hard. That's true. But you know what? We, get, we come back to the passport question. <laughs> Would you ever mm. talk with a guy who has a girlfriend? No. Who you had history with? No. Mm. Mm -mm. I'm going to respect him as well. But you know, I have guys that talk to me and they have girlfriends, but like they don't flirt with me. Like they just try to make conversation, which is weird. Why would you want to make, make friends with me? Or like, yeah, why do we? I mean, why would you want to be friends with me and make conversation with me if you have a whole girlfriend that you can have a talk conversation with? Exactly. <laughs> you know, that's what I don't get. So that I I find very odd. But um, yeah, no, I would never speak to someone I used to talk to, um, or have a thing with if they have a girl now. No. Enough for me because I wouldn't want that for myself. Would you ever, would you ever bring back like an old thing? Like, say they did you dirty, mm -hmm. but then they came and apologized, and they're no. just like, This is that, like, let's just try and make it work. I'm sorry. I know too many stories, like, in the, that, like, those are the series of events, and mm -hmm. I know so many people who have gone through that. So, and I realize that everyone is the same, every case is the same. I don't think there's such thing as a changed man, because a man will change if he wants to change, right? Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want to put myself through that. I'm not gonna I saw this get tweet. hurt again. Yeah, yeah. I saw this tweet and it was just like, if he likes you, you'll know. If he doesn't like you, you'll know. Exactly. Like you don't have to, like you'll be guessing it and stuff. And I was just like, that's so And true. I also saw other things that, if they'll talk to you, they'll talk to you. If they want to talk to you, they will talk to you. So don't force it. Don't them. force it. Like, if yeah. they like you, they will talk to you. They, they'll just hit you up. Yeah. But if they don't, like, don't and try. And I've noticed and... that that is very, very true. Like, yeah. it is. And it's only safe for women, you know? Like, not just men. And women always give it their all. So, like, it's... it's just, with men, we just... It has to click that. If they want to talk to us, they'll talk to us. Just don't force it. Don't force it. Help. Ladies. Don't force it. <laughs> Just like we've all been there before. We move, we move guys. What's the next one? <laughs> what would you do if your future mother-in-law didn't like you? Is what I, would I know? <laughs> yeah, How you would I know? know? You would know. I mean, you would what know. What can I do? I mean, what can I do? Like, she's like me. She's like me. I guess I'll just have to try, not to make her like me, but like try to be a civil. Yeah, or better, like yeah. a bigger person around her. But like, it's in, sometimes it's inevitable. So you That's just roll true. with it. Go with the as, as long as she doesn't mind her son getting married to you, I'm fine. Getting married to me, I mean, that's mm -hmm. fine. Guys, when you're how many kids so do you funny? want? Oh, how many kids do you want? I want, I think three. Really? Yeah. I want a lot of kids. I want. I think five. Th like five, three or four for me. Four is max. I want five, and I want at least two to be twins. I think um. I think I think like I just want three. If I have a fourth one and it's like by mistake or whatever, and I'm just like, hey, whatever, we'll have it. Mm -hmm. um, then like four would be good, but then I think I would just stop at that. I want a big family. That's why. Because I like me and my siblings. We're three, and I really like how we all get along. Like we just like have a really good dynamic between the three of us. So I'm just kind of like, okay, like if there was like another one of us, would, would it still be kind of the same, or would it just be good at three? So I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Would you want a huge age gap between your kids? No, for sure not. Like, what's well, what, how long are you willing to wait before, before you have another kid? The most I'll wait is probably four or five years. Like, I want them to be so far apart. Okay, so I guess that concludes the end of this girl talk with you guys, or like 
love thing. <laughs> you know, we went deep, we talked about relationships, talked about love, we talked about cheating, lifestyle, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. And, and we got let us know if you want Sarah in my videos because I know y'all do. <laughs> we should do that more often. <laughs> and we should bring Sally too. Oh yeah, we'll have a oh trio girl talk. It would be so funny. Shama would be on oh, point. Okay. Um, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, if you're new, please subscribe, like, and comment down below what more videos you want to see. Bye guys.